good. Yeah, just like that. Okay, now give me cute. <laughs> Keep watching. Yes, look at you, you clever thing. Lovely. Now hold that pose for just a sec. Yes, that's my little cutie pie. Wow, look at you. I didn't even know you could pull off that kind of expression. So photogenic. You're just too adorable, you know that? I could eat you right up. What's this? An extra serving of cuteness? Just for me? Don't mind if I do. More. I need more. Someone give me some extra storage. And a napkin, too. Oh, hey, partner. You didn't hear all that, did you? <coughs> How long have you been standing there? You weren't uh, listening in on all that stuff. I... Nope. Don't want to know. Forget I asked. <laughs> you don't want to know. Audrey, don't tell him. You shouldn't have told me, but you did. So now I'm telling you. You don't want to know. Anyways. It's right around this part of the forest where people have supposedly seen the Blood Moon Beast. Curiously, all the sightings have been on nights with heavy fog. Oh god. <laughs> that actually looks scary. <laughs> Okay, so it only happens at night time. In fact, I've heard that all kinds of unusual Pokemon appear on foggy nights. I'm sure that the Blood Moon Beast is one of them. It's gotta be. Oh, is that my little cutie pie back for another photo shoot? Oh, it's an Ariados. Gah! <laughs> better, better protect Growlithe. It's just a wild Aria dose. Let's go, Rillaboom. <laughs> Let's go, Monkey. Ooh. Ooh. Monkey beat up big spider. <laughs> Just imagine the boombers being like, What? What the time for my legs to give out with this great photo op right in front of me? Things are heating up over there. Snap a couple shots for me, will ya? Toxic thread. Oh, that. Is that a new move or is that. Ooh. It gives you poison and speed. Uh, lowering. Oh god. I couldn't even, like, kill it in one hit if I'm max leveled. And then this guy even has, like, perfect stats. I think it's the special attack stats. Which means I should probably get rid of Boom Burst. Oh, that really surprised me. My camera's okay, though. Thanks, partner. And thanks to you, too, of course. I feel a bit bad for that Aryados. It probably wasn't expecting to see humans out here. I bet it only attacked because it was surprised. We should set up a tent. That'll let the Pokemon know we're here and let them or help them get used to us. We should camp out. We're gonna, we're gonna skip the Festival of Mass just to camp out. Oh, that's cute! It has, like, a shaman texture. Oh my god, that's so cute. But I actually would need to heal my Rillaboom. Alright, perfect. That is so cute. <laughs> She may be old, but she's still a fine tent. It's actually my dad's, but he wasn't using it, so I just helped myself to it. Say hello to our new base of operations for our survey of the Blood Moon Beast. 
Now, the Blood Moon Beast is way more wary than an ordinary Pokemon. That's why there's been so few sightings, or so they say. That means we're gonna need to do some slow and steady groundwork if we want to find it. So, partner, what, am I, what I'm gonna need your help with most is photographing Pokemon. I want you to take photos of the Pokemon that appear around here on foggy nights. I'm looking for lots of pictures of the good variety of Pokemon. Afterward, I'll register your photo data into my handy Pokemon searcher. Over time, that'll train it to ignore any sign of other Pokemon that live around here. Clearing all the noise will let us pinpoint exactly where the Blood Moon Beast is. <laughs> I don't get it. Whoa, you actually understood that? I was just rattling off what the manual said. <laughs> I picked this thing up at a thrift shop. <laughs> I really did. I don't really understand how it's supposed to work. My preliminary surveys make me think there are actually dozens of Pokemon species that tend to show up around the forest on foggy nights. We can split the load. So how about you try and snap photos of 10 species of Pokemon for me? How about it? If we tackle this together, I'm sure we'll find the Blood Moon Beast. Oh, and we're looking for clear photos that get the Pokemon nice and big in the frame. They really... They really want you to do Pokemon Snap again. You'll want to sneak up on foot to get close to them. No riding on big, noisy Pokemon. You hear that, Sandwich? Once you're good, we can set up in the tent and wait for Foggy Night. Can I actually do that? Can I skip? Can I actually skip the... Uh, the Festival of Masks? Or it's just gonna change the weather, yeah. Alright, let's begin the survey. At least there's no time limit. Uh, camera? Okay, it really does do that. Alright, so what Pokemon are we gonna look for here? Oh. That looks like... Sudowoodo. Can I, uh, I can't zoom in. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, it, it's a real scared Pokemon. I actually scared it. God damn it. All right, let's not get Sudowoodo. Oh, no, there's another one. Does that work? That's the, that's the imitation Pokemon, Sudowoodo. It's really easy to make it, or mistake it for a tree in this fog. That's great. I knew you were the right person for the job. Alright, we got Sudowoodo. There's still that outbreak with, uh... Oh, I see one. That's Chio, dude. There's still that outbreak with Toad's Cruel. But I'm doing this survey. Does that work? It's the rock Pokemon Chew, dude. You gotta be careful or you might trip over this fella. Have you tried turning your eyes upward too? There may be Pokemon lurking up in the trees. Oh, good, good point. I have to keep an eye on that. At least it's not, yeah, it's not like saving into my Nintendo Switch album, which is good. Doesn't want me taking random photos. Oh, oh, look at that. It's a couple of Hetanas. The calm Pokemon, Hetena, huh? 
Must feel right at home in a quiet forest like this. You have a real eye for photography. I mean, I can't even get it closer. I bet you could even get great shots of Pokemon that refuse to sit still and always wander around. Okay. Oh, and it makes that ding sound if you if they spot you. Okay. Well, let's see what's in this corner. That's also Hatena. Oh, I heard something. Oh, it's a uh... whoa. It's Hoot Hoot. Oh, did I? Oh. Wait up. Look up. Oh, I see it. Okay. We'll just take this. The owl Pokemon, Hoot Hoot. I've always wanted to get a shot of it switching the foot it stands on. That's my partner for you. These are really bad photos. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do see Lotad and Spinarak. But yeah, these are terrible photos. I can't even get a good close distance on them. That's the string spit Pokemon, Spinarak. Do you think it's trying to spin up a new web in the trees? All right, so that's uh, five pictures. Let's get those Lotad. The Waterweed Pokemon, Lotad. Now that's the good life, just floating around like that. <laughs> now that's the good type. <clears throat> oh, and there's also Ghost type in these woods. Yeah, that's also a good point. I do see C Dot. Do you see C Dot up in the trees? He <laughs> has his stanky leg up. The Acorn Pokemon, C Dot. Pretty easy to make it or mistake it for a berry or something. All right, cool. Um, she did say there might be ghost type Pokemon in these woods too, so I got to be on the lookout. Speaking of which, there is one. I think we got it. The Requiem Pokemon, Duskull. It makes quite the impression on a dark night like this. Just what I've come to expect of my partner. Uh, did you hear the sound coming from the northeast? Like thunder or something? I wonder if it could be electric type Pokemon. Can there be electric type Pokemon in this in these woods? I thought it was just all forest type Pokemon. Oh, it's, uh, it's Salandit. Why are they clinging onto the walls? The toxic lizard Pokemon, Salandit. Sneaking up on some prey in the dark, maybe. The composition, the motifs. I think your skills are wasted here in the backwater, helping me. Oh, but before you abandon me, have you been up around the water in the northwest? Just one more Pokemon and your survey work will be complete. I mean, I did check that already. That was, um, <clears throat> that was Lotad. But you did say something about an electric type in the Northeast. I think that's also Hatena. Oh no, that's, uh, that's Litwick. I think I could just take it from here. The candle Pokemon, Litwick. Seeing those little lights floating in the dark is otherworldly, huh? Alright, we've completed our survey. That was terrible. <laughs> those were terrible-ass pictures. Pokemon Snap was better than that. Okay, so if we just compile the photos we both took... It looks like we photographed every Pokemon known to appear in the forest when it's foggy. We did it! We really pulled it off! I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. 
Now we just send all our data to the Pokemon searcher and... Wait, I guess... <laughs> Wait, I guess. It's supposed to take a little bit for all the data to be uh, processed or whatever. You know, the photos you took were all real good. No, they were, they were not. They were not. They were not good photos. They were not. So Spill, what were you thinking about most when you were taking those photos? I wasn't really thinking about anything. Uh, capturing them as they are, I guess. Trying to capture the Pokémon as they are. So you really wanted to show how the Pokémon live pure and unadulterated, huh? Hmm? See that diamond-ass mark? I... I'm actually in a bit of a slump myself. Even a kid like you knows what a slump is, right? Like, when nothing seems to go right for you? Boy... <laughs> you don't even know the half of me. You might not believe it, but when I was younger, <clears throat> I was lauded as a photography prodigy. Everyone loved my photos. Absolutely everyone. But in these past few years, I feel like I've lost my spark. And my photos show it. They lack heart. The awards have all dried up. The accolades, too. And the longer it keeps dragging on, the more I lose sight of what it is I even want to capture with my photos. I think about this with my videos. <laughs> That's when I heard the stories about the Blood Moon Beast. I left for Kitakami as fast as I could. I thought that if I could just get a photo of an astounding Pokemon like that... Oh, pardon me. Then maybe, just maybe something inside me would change. <laughs> That's rough, buddy. Thanks, partner. And sorry, I didn't mean to bring the whole mood down with my problems. Dingle dee dee doodle. <laughs> oh, I guess the machine's done doing its thing, but that jingle. Pretty sure that's the same one my dryer plays when I'm it's done with the load. Ha! Huh, too funny. Who decided to use that? Can you just give me anything a jingle? Can you just give anything a jingle now? Anyway, if we filter out all of our data, it looks like there's still one hit out there in the foggy woods. That's gotta be the Blood Moon Beast. We finally found it. Huh. <laughs> This is it. You know, talking to you really helped me throw off all, some of that old tension. I think I'm ready to meet the Blood Moon Beast. How about you? I guess I am ready. Oh boy. Let's see how much of this beast uh, takes on. It's finally time for me to capture the Blood Moon Beast. On film, that is. If things start to look dicey, I'll be counting on you to handle the battling, partner. You too, of course, Growlithe. Now then, let's get going. Oh boy, here we go. That hit we got on the Pokemon Searcher came from somewhere around here. It's awfully quiet. Got it. Oh. Are those footsteps? Whatever's making them must be huge. Oh god. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> That thing's massive! Oh god. It's got a red moon on its forehead! 
It's the Blood Moon Beast! It's real! We actually found it! That thing is massive! Right, my camera. Now you just be a good little beast and stay right there while I snap a photo. Oh, why did you have the flash on, you idiot? Sorry, the auto flash just... Oh god. Wait a second. That music! I recognize that music! Did they really just pull a Legends Arceus into this game? Holy shit, what a callback. Growlithe, you ready? Yeah, this kind of music is actually the type when you're, like, sneaking towards an alpha Pokemon in Legends Arceus. That is such good detail. I don't think he's ready. Sounds like that's a no. How about you, partner? <laughs> Over here, big guy! Sorry, and thanks. You've got this. Am I able to catch it? Oh shit! What? Oh, never mind, it's a boss battle. Also, holy shit. It's playing Pokemon Legends Arceus music. What the actual fuck? That's fucking awesome! Oh man, I wish I let's play that game when it came out. I played that game so much to the point where I actually perfected the Pokedex. And I have... I actually have, like, a, a clip showing proof that I actually did perfect the entire Pokedex in that game. Oh, this is such a callback. I used the Shiny Hunt so much in that game, too. Which is why you saw, like, the Shiny Sneasler and Overquell and Ursaluna. Holy crap. I just wish I'd, I didn't think about this when I had Rillaboom with me. That is such a cool looking Pokemon though. It's it's kind of like a werewolf or something, but it's like a werebear. But it's not even like a form or anything of like Ursaluna or anything. It's just its own thing. Oh, God, that music. <laughs> I love- I actually love when video games do that. It brings, like, video game music from different games. Okay, now the fight's on. This is great! I'm right up close to the action! Blood Moon. Ugh. What the hell? Can I- I can't catch this, can I? No, I can't. I have to actually fight him. All right. That is... That is such an amazing callback to Pokemon Legends Arceus. Just like what they did with, like, um... certain other legendary Pokemon fights, like the Regis. Calm Mind? What? Oh, God. It really wants to destroy me. It raised his, uh, defense, or special defense. Isn't drum beating a special attack? Nah, kind of. But it's lowering its speed. This is such a massive Pokemon, too. Alright, Big Bear, I smash you with a hammer! The Blood Boon Beast is weak, now's your chance to catch it! Oh, I can, okay. 
they actually give you a they actually don't give you a choice to not catch it. Okay. Well, I think I have the perfect Pokeball for this. The Beast Ball. Oh, and it gets that little jingle when you catch a Pokemon too. Oh, that is so cool. That is such good detail. Oh my god, I love it so much. Ursaluna, the peat Pokemon. Blood Moon form. It is 8 foot 10. It crossed the sea and drifted ashore in a new land, surviving in this place and led it to take on a unique appearance and gain special powers. That is such an amazing form. I actually love it so much. You okay, partner? I didn't seriously think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Blood Moon Beast, let alone catch it. I mean, you're the one that brought it up. That was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Growlithe. You've got to work on those nerves a bit, bud. <laughs> it just died. <laughs> no, give it some rubs. But my heart is still beating a mile a minute. What a thrill. I just couldn't stop snapping shots of you battling that Blood Moon Beast. I bet you want to give your Pokemon a chance to rest and recover though, huh partner? Let's head back to camp for now. God, that is fucking amazing. Not only, not only that music was a callback to... Legends Arceus, but actually, this character is actually an ancestor to Adamin from Pokemon Legends Arceus. Hence why you can also see the diamond symbol on the back of her pants. And also the color of her hair is a big uh, resemblance. Packing up the old tent and calling it a day feels a bit sad, like the end of an adventure. I couldn't have done this without you, partner. Because of you, I finally feel like I have some photos here that I want to keep forever. It's been ages since I felt this way, seriously. And now that I'm all motivated, it's time to ride this feeling and seize the day. I'm heading back to the village this instant to get those photos developed. As we always say in my family, time wasted is lost. Isn't that what Animan actually said? So I'm not wasting any more time. Let's meet again in Masui. Man. I actually loved that so much. That was such a nice callback. To probably one of the best open world, well, it was probably the first open world Pokemon game, but it was actually a really good Pokemon game. Let alone be it. I don't know if it was like a spin off or anything. But it was such a fun game. But I still have yet to record it. I would have to record myself playing that game still. I mean, I could, like, since, like, I've been sending all my shinies or necessary shinies into uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violets, then should be no problem starting a new game. Okay, since now that side quest is done, I feel, oh, <laughs> that Bombardi was gonna get me. I could actually go back, yeah, I can go back to Mossweet Town and talk to Perrin again. I was actually like, I got interrupted again, didn't I? Trying to talk about the Nintendo Directs that happened. I'll do it a bit later. Yeah, what are its stats too? I'm gonna have to check here. Ursaluna. It's got the ability Mind's Eye. 
three IVs, hardy nature. And it probably doesn't even have a shiny color since it was like an exclusive Pokemon. But now I have to guess since it's like shiny locked, maybe it's either going to give us this Pokemon as a gift as shiny or maybe in the next generation they're going to do that.